Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make this vest. It's so fluffy and soft uh, and it's too easy to make. I hope you like it. Uh, I will use this yarn, Cartopool Baby Moon. Uh, I use almost uh, three a balls of this yarn and one of them is 130 meters and I will I use this yarn a Lamia pastel cotton it's yarn size it's yarn size 5 it's too hard to see but yes it's 5 and I use a 5.5 millimeter and a uh, 4.5 millimeter uh, crochet hooks 5.5 is mainly and 4.5 uh, for the ribbing actually i think i use a uh, 5 millimeter too but uh, it's not necessary you can make the ribbing with a uh, 4.5 millimeter crochet hook i hope you like it if you like don't forget to push the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel please uh, and if you are ready, we can just start. I use this one uh, for the uh, measure the size. And this is uh, my daughter's waist. Uh, and it's not uh, fit uh, her now. So I made it a little bigger. A little bigger like that uh, and from here too and it will be stretched don't forget it that's not because it has a lining here as you see I made this one this is one of the front side and made this one now we will make uh, the other uh, side and I will show you how I start and make this then uh, we will make this arm space we can start now I will use this yarn uh, for the ribbing and I want to start uh, with this because um, it's hard to uh, see this yarn if you uh, want to make uh, your chains with this one, you can make it, uh, but it's really hard to see. I will start with uh, 20 chain, uh, 21 chain, sorry. Uh, and for the back side, I made uh, 51 chains. Make this uh, chains loosely. I made twenty one chain and cut this yarn. Take the Make it like that and you have 20 chain now. I will make a slip knot. And then I will yarn over. Insert my hook into that first chain Take the yarn and pull it through You see I have three loops Like that Yarn over and pull it through from this two loop Yarn over and pull it through from second two loops. 
I start with a, a standing double crochet but if you want you can just tie your yarn here chain two and make a double crochet into same place start like that or you can just chain three and um, thing it like a, a double crochet and yarn over insert your hook into the second one and make it double yarn over and keep doing like that make your uh, double crochets like that and that's the last one chain two and uh, this is not a double crochet I will make a double crochet into same uh, stitch but it's hard to see the stitch uh, with this yarn of uh, this kind of yarns if you want you can just follow like that your stitch and if you want you can make it like I do I will not make double crochet into the stitch I will make them between these double crochets okay it's so uh, easy like that I'll insert my hook between these two double crochet and make a double and two three four and I complete my uh, 20 double crochet and if you want to uh, count them you can just count like that one two three twenty chain two and starting from here make 20 double crochet again and keep doing like that uh, just measure the size uh, with your uh, sweater or vest as I say I will make this part uh, this length uh, and I will show you if I found yes my measure I made this one 12 inch long uh, then I made 7 inch more it's totally it's totally 19 uh, when I complete this part, I will show you how I made this uh, arm space, arm holes. I complete my rows, uh, and now we will make arm holes like that, and then uh, neck hole. Uh, you can use both sides of this uh, yarn, so we will exactly uh, do the same thing for uh, both sides. Uh, it's very well, really easy now chain one and turn I will skip a uh, two space here so I will make slip stitch insert my hook this first stitch take the yarn and make a slip stitch and I will make it one more time and uh, I will make a decrease here and for uh, start this decrease I will make one more slip stitch insert my at the next uh, space and make a slip stitch then chain two uh, this is first half uh, of a double crochet okay and insert my hook at the next stitch 
take the yarn, yarn over and pull it through from first two loop and leave it like that. Just take the yarn and complete them together. And then I will make double crochets without decreases. I will keep doing like that then turn and I came here at the last two stitch or last two space and I will make one more decrease. I will just come here again. I'm at the last two space. Look, one here and one there. Don't count this one. This is uh, one double crochet here. Now I will make one more decrease. Insert my hook here. Yarn over and pull it through from these two loops and leave it like that. And make it one more time. Yarn over and complete these three, lo uh, three loops together. Chain two and turn. Skip this first space because that's um, uh, this half. The space is half. And into the next space, make half of a double crochet and complete them together. And keep doing like that. This is our last degrees for this side. Uh, when you finish this row, just keep doing uh, double crochets for four rows. Uh, this for child size of course uh, if you are making this an uh, adult you can make uh, more rows then we will make uh, this um, next space and I will uh, make four more rows uh, when I complete this one uh, then see you here I made my rows chain two and turn Starting from the first space, I will make a uh, 10 double crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I have one, two, three, four, five stitches here. Uh, you can um, leave more uh, space here or stitches here if you are making uh, this for an adult. Uh, leave more uh, if you want. Now I will make uh, one decrease here. Insert my hook at the next space and make a doubles half and make it one more time complete them together chain two and turn I will make one more decrease skip this first space and into the next one make a decrease a uh, and then make double crochets when you complete this uh, row, uh, turn and make one more decrease and then one more decrease. Make two rows with decrease. Uh, when you finish this one, make two more rows. Okay. And uh, always uh, same side. Make this decrease. Always same side this side. Okay. Opposite side of um, this arm space and I'll see you. I made totally four rows uh, with decreases. Then I will make two rows without decreases. Chain two, turn and make your double crochets. I have eight double crochet now. You can uh, have different numbers. Just make your double crochets. Turn, chain two and turn and make one more time.
and that's finish. Now we are at the back side and we will make the same thing. Uh, just insert your hook between these two double crochet and make a slip stitch. Make it one more time and one more time. Chain two. That's our first uh, half of our double crochet, first double crochets, first half. And I will make it uh, one more time. Insert my hook at the next stitch. Just uh, don't complete this double crochet and take on complete these two together. And then make double crochet. I will uh, keep doing like that um, until I have uh, four double crochet left, four stitches left. Sorry, uh, I'll keep doing and see you. I have four stitches left, and I will make my uh, last degrees for this row and leave these two like that. Chain two, turn your work. This is uh, the first half. Uh, the, 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 mm. This is the uh, this is our first uh, double crochet half, and insert your hook at the second uh, hole and make one more complete them together. Keep doing like, like that until you have a uh, last two stitch. I have last two stitch here, one here and one there. I no. I have three. I made one more and now I will make my decrease. Chain two. Turn. Skip this first space and into that next space, make a, a half and complete them together. When I came to the end, I will make this one more time. Uh, I'll see you there. I'm at the end again and I will make a last decrease here. Chain two, turn. And starting from this first space, make double crochets. And I will keep doing double crochets uh, for the nine row. Uh, you can make it as you want. You just use your um, cardigan. And when you complete this one, uh, we will uh, sew uh, the parts uh, together. Now it's time uh, for the joining. You can use a uh, yarn needle or your crochet hook. Um, I think uh, I will use crochet hook. There's a safe yarn, as you see, so I can use this one. And it won't look bad. I insert my hook here and take the yarn like that. I will just make single crochets. Uh, you can think like um, two single cro crochet for a row and make it like that. I will keep doing like that and join this part here and then here, here 
and here. Complete the joining uh, and then we will make the ribbing. For the ribbing, I will start from here. And I turn uh, my work, uh, we're at the right side, side of our work, okay? I will start with any place and I will use a 5mm crochet hook. You can use this stitch. We have uh, chains here, you know, or you can make it like that again. Chain two and make a double crochet into same place. And I will make double crochets like that until I came to the corner. Okay. Just make it uh, until you reach there. I came to the corner, insert my hook here. Make a double crochet, chain one, and in the same place, make one more double crochet. Now I will turn my work. And I will keep making double crochets. You can think like um, two double crochets for a row. I'll show you like that. You see, there's a double and around this double, make one and two double crochet. And in the next one, make two again. Keep doing like that. If it seems um, too much for you or less, you can add one uh, or two uh, double crochet more while you're making this one. You can make three one of them or then two, 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 then three. You can make it like that too. I'll just keep doing like that when I came here i will make the same thing i did here i make a double crochet here this last stitch and then chain one make one more double crochet here i will keep doing like that uh, when i came here this back side i have uh, loops here and make double crochet just keep doing like that don't forget the corners i came to the beginning and from this first stitch i will make a slip stitch and chain two i want to show you like that i will make uh, here as I said and here too and here I think it's a little loosey uh, maybe I can use 4.5 millimeters uh, later uh, but at first uh, I will make front post and back post double crochet and it will um, make side a little tighter than that uh, now i will make front post and back post double crochet starting with the front post i will take the yarn insert my hook from this first double crochet uh, insert from front to back and front again around this double crochet just make it double 
Take the yarn and now we will make back post double crochet. Insert your hook from back to front, you know, this double crochet back again. And make it double. Make a front post, make a back post, front post and back post. Keep doing like that. I'll see you at the corner. I'm at the corner here. I want to show you something. I want to make my last uh, double crochet a uh, front post. But I made here front post and it will be back post. I don't want to make it like that. So I will make a half double crochet here. Half double. And then make a front post double. At the other row, uh, I will make front post and make this one back post and uh, front post again. Okay, if you have the same problem here, you can use this method. And then into that one chain space, I will make one half double crochet, chain one and one more half double crochet. Just take these three loops, take the yarn and pull it through from both loops. Make a front post and back post. Keep doing like that. They make the same thing at all the corners and complete this row. I came to the end again. By the way, uh, I'm using 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. I remake uh, the second row with a uh, 4.5 millimeter crochet hook because uh, I don't like. Uh, the five millimeter looks. Um, now I have two loops, uh, but I want to finish with back postable crochet because I start with the front post. I will make. I can make the same thing. Make a back post like that, and then an half double and back post as we do at the corner, or. Um, you can make it like that too. Just yarn over. Take this both uh, double crochets together and around them make a back post. And then join. Chain two. It looks good. I can leave it like that, but I think I will make one more row. Uh, now I'll make it and uh, when I came to the corner, I will show you uh, again. I came to the corner. You see, um, this is the half double crochet uh, we made uh, at the uh, one row below. I'll make this one back post double crochet. And front pose and here at the corner I will make a back post then into that one chain space I will make a half double chain one and one more half double I complete with the back post here so start with a back post Then make front post, front post, back post, back post. Just keep doing like that and make uh, how many rows you want. I'll just uh, finish this one and make the sleeves. I made the sleeves. It's same uh, thing we did uh, for here. But uh, only difference is uh, I made one uh, double crochet for one row. Uh, sometimes, time to time, I made two. I totally have uh, 48 uh, double crochet here. 
Uh, I want to make it a little tighter than here. Uh, you can um, make any stitch number you want. Just be uh, sure about uh, here and here uh, uh, will be same uh, stitch. And then I make this one uh, for tie this uh, two sides together. Uh, you can use uh, a button if you want uh, or you can use a ribbon uh, I want to make it like that and I want to show you how I make this one too I'll just take this yarn and from uh, this one chain space I'll join and then chain 50 you can chain as you want. I complete my 50 chain and I use a bead here as you see and I will use one more here. I'll take um, a little uh, 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. You can use a yarn needle here if you want. I will take this yarn inside this bead like that and then make a chain turn your chains and starting from the first one we will make single crochets first one always the hard one <laughs> And then I will keep making my uh, single crochets. I complete uh, my single crochets and I will join it uh, from this one chain space again. But don't forget to make it like that. You see there is um, this is the right side, this is the wrong side. If you make this one like that uh, wrong sides um, seam and it look bad just make it like that and you can chain one if you want then hide these tails and it's finished I hope you like it um, I think that's the easiest way to make a vest and if you try uh, this vest, please share it with me too. Series Crochet is my Instagram address. You can reach me uh, there anytime you want. Um, and thanks for watching me today. Uh, hope to see you again. Have a nice day.